Start again. Hi, welcome to Martin and Zach at the Movies. I'm Martin. Zach. And uh, we're coming at you a little different location than normal, but that's okay. We like going different sometimes. So uh, we got two movies to talk to you about this time around. First and foremost is Oz the Great and Powerful. Good times. It was all right. I, it was. It wasn't great, but it wasn't horrible. It was. Um. It was decent. I thought it was cool. The only thing that bugged me was the fact that it started out in like the little teeny frame, and then it went bam. Well, it didn't even go bam. Bam would have been nice. It went. Whoo. It was because they were being considerate of people's eyes. I would like the bam. That would have been nice. I don't know. I'm, like, not a huge Wizard of Oz fan in the first place. So, I mean, the movie wasn't bad. It kept your attention, but you didn't want to go, Woohoo! let's keep watching this. I, 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 it's one I'm not going to own. It's a take or leave it for me. Yeah. If you like The Wizard of Oz, go see it. It's decent. It's got good actors in it. Um, I don't know why, but Mila Kunis wears leather pants. So, if you want to see Mila that Kunis. Was pretty, that was pretty funny. If you want to see Mila Kunis in leather pants, go right ahead. Uh, also. You just couldn't get over it. Just like. You just couldn't get over it. You're like, why? Why the leather pants? Hey, I pointed it out once. You're the one that kept pointing it out. Well, once you point it out, <laughs> you can't you, you can't not notice. Uh-huh. Also, Zach Braff is the Jar Jar Binks of that movie. Yep. That That's was pretty fun. It was. It was fun. Um, I almost broke my phone. He did. After I said Jar Jar Binks was the or Zach Braff's character with the Jar Jar Binks of that movie, he like bam because I was gonna because I was gonna put it on Facebook because it was funny and then like I went whoa and it fell. Yep. And it broke. It killed it. But yeah, I mean, it's a movie worth seeing. It's been number one for two weeks now, so... Yeah. If you want to go add to its box it's office... It's aesthetically pleasing. It is. It's a very. It's got very nice graphics to it. We saw it in 2D, not 3D. Because um, Martin's been very disappointed with 3D. I have very few 3D movies have actually been worth seeing in 3D. So, yeah. Truth. Um, but, yeah, go see it. Go check it out. It's Oz, the Great and Powerful. Ooh! Ooh. Oh, yeah, and they didn't use the right color for the Wicked Witch. Yeah, trademarked coloring. Yep. Wicked Witch Green. That's ridiculous. Yeah, it is. Okay, so if any of you can answer this question, feel free to comment if anybody even watches this. But, okay, how do they gauge which green that they're trademarking? Do they go the green that it showed up on film, or do they go the green that they used? That's Because they're two question. completely different greens because of how it was shot. It's a good point. If you have any que- if you have any ideas of how, let us know. Because uh, I'd like to know. Zach would really like to know. If you are a law student and you actually know about this, go right ahead and tell us. Go all legal too. Zach understands legalese. Legal legal terms. He loves Franklin and Bash, and he loves Law and Order. He Law and Order. Dun dun. All right. So Oz, go see it. Number yeah, two good movie. Number two, the Incredible Burt Wonderstone. Yay! Wonderstone. This movie was surprisingly better than I was expecting it to be. It's true. It was actually funny. Uh, Jim Carrey is am- is actually really good. He's really good. A good Chris Angel, David Blaine kind of mixture of a character. Yeah. Uh, Steve Buscemi is a great supporting character. He always is a great supporting actor. Um, Alan Arkin does an amazing job. He's always good. Steve Carell's actually watchable. <laughs> oh, it's a funny movie. It really was a funny movie. It's got a lot of good quotable lines. Yeah. The magic, if you could actually get magicians to do these tricks, would be amazing. And I think, like, we're having a conversation on the way home, on the way home, about how it's different because they kind of put uh, Jim Carrey's character as that Chris Angel type of person, and just his, just how he looks. Yep. And then kind of move on to the, the stupid David, human, yeah, the David, David Blaine, Blaine stupid human trick magic. stuff. And we're having a conversation on the way home about how Chris Angel is actually a very, very good magician. And how it was funny. Yeah. Just, just about his stuff. Yeah. Yeah. No. And about different magicians. That was a good time, too. Yeah, we talked a lot about other magicians that we liked, that we had seen. It's a really good movie. I hi- highly suggest it. It's a weird plot structure as far as comedies go nowadays. Yeah. Like, what you think the focus of this plot is going to be, I thought it was going to be them competing to get the main stage, that that, that was going to be the brunt of the film. But it's not. But it's, it's not. More of, it's more of about... Um, uh, Steve, Wonderstone. Yeah, Steve Carell's character kind of finding himself again. Yeah. Redis- rediscovering his love of magic. Yeah. 
But yeah, it was really good. It's It'll fun. take you back to a child. Yeah. It's, it's fun. It's a good movie. It is. There are, there are a lot of, you know, kind of, uh, I wish this would just move on type yeah. of moments. But for the most part, it kind of moves on past that and yeah. gains your interest again it's at some point. about as long as watching a Jed Apatow film without feeling like you're watching a Jed Apatow film. Even though it's not a Jed Apatow in any way. I just, I feel all of his movies are like a half hour longer than they ever should be. And this movie was kind of a little longer than it should have been, but I was okay with it because it was actually, it was nice to have that extra and that extra character develop, development that came with it. Yeah. But seriously, I highly recommend Burt Wonderstone. It was really good. It's really funny. And kind of like Here Comes the Boom, it was way different than what I was expecting with the cast that it had. Yeah. The only thing, the only thing that I that I had a problem with that really bugged me was the fact that I felt as if as Jim Carrey's return to movies, he could have picked a different movie. Uh-huh. But but then, then then again, we had a conversation about how you know he did play it very well. Yeah, and there wasn't anybody who could have filled that role as well. In as the he same could. way, actually, I was reading they had written the role completely different before they cast Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey brought that character the way he was. And that's, you know, was good. Jim Carrey did an amazing job. Because it's Jim Carrey. But yeah. He's awesome. Uh, go see Oz if you want to. It's not bad. Go see Burt Wonderstone. It's really good and highly recommended. Yeah. Uh, we're looking at G.I. Joe in the near future for yeah. our future movie watching. Definitely G.I. Career. Career. <laughs> movie yeah. watching movie career. Movie watching career. Why not? Let's call it career. G.I. Joe is definitely coming up in the near future. And there's a lot of other stuff. Jurassic Park comes out in 3D soon. Yep. Iron Man comes out in two months. Yeah, he's always talking about Iron Man. That's all I hear about. Iron Man, Iron Man, Iron Man, Iron Man, Iron Man. Robert Downey Jr. is so good. He's great. Everything he does is amazing. Not everything. Good portion, though. Uh Uh-huh. All right, well, I'm Martin. Zach. Zach, and this is Martin Zach at the Movies. Catch you next time.